World Cup of 1992, a vital encounter for these two teams. The Indians have one point from their washed out game against Sri Lanka the other day in the north of Queensland. Australia, no points at all. These are the teams nominated by the two skippers before the toss. First of all, the Australians, they have Mark Taylor in and Merv Hughes and out Healy injured and Bruce Reed left out of the side to bring in uh, Merv Hughes. And the Indians, well, they've included uh, RJ Jadeja, a newcomer who's an all-rounder, pretty useful medium pacer and a good stroke player. They will bat down to number nine. Well, the Australians won the toss and decided to bat. We join play now in the second over. Mark Taylor is taking strike. Prabhaka is the batsman. Five runs are on the board. Taylor really finding the middle of the bat very early on. They look for three here and have to hurry. They're going to hit the stumps. It would have been very close for Jeff Marsh. It would have been very close indeed had the ball hit the stumps. Even if the Jadeja, the fieldsman there, if the ball had bounced truly for the wicketkeeper, it could still have been interesting. Kapil Dev from the Stanley Street area. So that's the first wicket gone, chasing a wide one outside the off stump, just got the touch onto it, the merest of touches, and Mark Taylor goes to a wide one, chasing it. Good positive start by Taylor, so that would be a setback for Australia, as he goes for 13. Not one of the better balls that Kapil Dev has bowled this morning. It was quite wide and going further away. It was almost a lack of bounce that caused Mark Taylor to get an underneath, underneath edge. He's on his way for 13. Australia, one for 18. New batsman is David Boone, who comes in at the number three position, which he takes in test cricket for Australia. Good shot through the gap on the offside. That'll get to the fence. Marsh beginning to loosen up now. That's the first boundary of the day. The Australians now beginning to turn it on. Can't afford to lose this match. And have a look at this lovely cover drive from Marsh. Perfectly played, and uh, he needs to push it long. He's been in for 22 balls now. Occasional boundary, something uh, Jeff Marsh is always looking for. And David Boone, probably even more important today, because he's keeping wicket as well. Those are his figures. He's got a strike rate of the high 60s there, 66.7, runs per 100 balls. Oh, he's done it again. He's dragged the ball back onto his stumps. We've seen Marsh do this so often this summer. And he'll be dreadfully disappointed. Border is pushed for him. He tried to run that one down to third man. And regrettably, from Marsh's point of view, he dragged it back onto the stumps. Well, the Australians have made a change today. They've brought in Mark Taylor to open with uh, Jeff Marsh. Taylor is gone, and now Marsh has two. And Kapildev is the man who struck once again. It's two for 31, Australia in 11. This will hopefully be his day because Australia need a real classical Dean Jones inning. Just out of reach and just out of reach of the diving man at mid off as well. If we make the fence, then Katapati Raju is uh, the fielder. He got through the bowler. Chavagal Swinart and then it also got through Prabhaka. It's uppishly played and uh, desperate efforts by the Indians coming from all directions there to try and cut that one off. It's the Wacker, it's the Wacker, um, 
Well, whatever it is, it's uh, a big six, I can tell you that. <laughs> what a shot. More of that, please, Dean Jones. I think that's the Queensland Cricket Association section down there. That might have ended up in uh, the bar down that section of the ground. Oh, well taken. What a beautiful shot that was. So Dean Jones against Srinath and showing the kind of form that all Australia have been waiting for. Good positive start. And the batsman who it is claimed is the best in the one day game. And that's the type of form that the Australians are looking for from this man. Coming with the loss of two wickets quite early on for Australia. And uh, a tremendous shot once more. Ready swinging the bat with full freedom this morning, Dean Jones. And that came off the dead centre. Oh, magnificent shot. Picked it up off the legs and really clobbered it through the wicket. That came with a shot from a gun. Again, a very aggressive approach here by David Boone. Ball sliding into the legs. Really on that middle stump. David Boone not mucking around, just picked it up. And away it goes. Under edge, went down and into the boundary. Well, technically a chance there, but really, Kieran Moore, I know, hope of catching that ball. A thick underneath edge by David Boone. Wide delivery. Give it the full flow of the bat. Just got the bottom edge, and Kieran Moore there just showing the frustration of knowing that the ball was hit but nothing he could do about it. This World Cup has attracted attention all over the world. A lot of journalists and photographers coming in from several countries. Up Magnificently hit through the line for four from the time it left the back. And I don't think we need to say that David Boone is a four batsman in the Australian team after seeing that shot. Well, he hit it, hit through the line. Lovely batting pitch, this. And Boone hammered it between mid-off and extra cover for four. Raju continues, left arm around the wicket. He's gone. Well, there's good bowling. Enticed him down the pitch. Ravi Shastri takes the catch. A beautiful piece of bowling by Raju. Beat him in fight. Didn't quite get to the pitch for the ball. And it's a vital wicket. May be that the ball didn't spin either uh, because it's gone away on the onside and I'm sure that David Boone was trying to hit with the spin, hit over the offside, but uh, the ball's virtually gone straight on and finished in the hands of Ravi Shastri. So that's a terrific blow struck there by Venkatapati Raju, Australia 3 for 102. Steve Orr, the new batsman. It's well placed, it could go all the way. Beautifully timed and play shot by Steve Wall. Mr. Captain had just brought mid off, uh, mid on uh, up into the circle as Kabaka because they were getting some easy uh, singles down there. And uh, Steve Wall took advantage of that. Hit the gap beautifully. Superb stroke. Just a metre or two to find the gap and he timed it and placed it. Just opened the face and a little bit of bottom hand there. Superb stroke. Great shot. Pick up three, so good over by Stephen Moore. He picks up seven runs. Three for 130. Man of deep back of square. Can't get that. It's a good shot by Dean Jones. 
Off the middle of the bat, half century for Jones. Very important innings, not just for the right-hander, but also for Australia. And the advantage of a small ground for the batsman here. The ball struck very hard, very cleanly. And the man at deep square leg, 15, 20 metres behind the square, only had to move two or three yards, but it wasn't enough. And uh, there'll be no more of that from Steve Waugh. A little bit of room for the shot. That's well bowled by Schwinnart. It's been a good over so far. Pressure onto the batsman, and the bowler came out on top. Very much victory for Srinath. Steve Waugh trying to make room, being cramped for space by the length of the ball. And the bail's going. Steve Waugh returns. Australia 4 for 156. Right through the line of the ball, so the new bat seems to have uh, worked the trick for Tom Moody. Right over the infield for four. Schwinnart just very predictable as a medium pace bowler. He doesn't hit the wicket very hard. He's not bowling a, an ideal length. He's either too full or too short. Seems to me that he's the ideal bowler for Tom Moody at the moment. And Prabhakar is coming back into the attack. He has three more overs, so presumably he'll bowl them out. Bowled it, dragged it on, just got the inside edge, hitting right across it. Tom Moody and Prabhakar gets a wicket with the first ball of a new spell when Australia have lost their fifth wicket. A little bit of predicting going on here by Tom Moody. Decided that he was going to go down the ground. It was the slower ball, the off spinner from... Prabhaka, Tom Moody only managed to help it on onto his middle stump. And Tom Moody's on his way for 25. Australia, 5 for 198. Australia 5 down and their captain, Alan Border, comes in. Paul Dev knows that he's got to bowl a good line, but keep mixing up the pace. There's a man out there, but he won't get it. It's well struck by Dean Jones. Well, they're trying the faster delivery. Dean Jones onto it straight away, aiming it wide of mid-on. Just rolling the wrists on it as he hits through the ball. Works it away from the wide mid-on fieldsman. Dean Jones, they're at number six on the list. And he struck that beautifully, and that's 16 runs in the over. Four boundary, three boundaries in the over to Jones. Kapildev conceding 16 of it, five for 219. Oh, unlucky. Hit the stumps and uh, ended up going through them. We can't hit them back much straighter than that. And I'm probably in the end, the back to slow the ball down they got two went straight through the middle stump there stump vision will show the straight hit from Alan Border as Tony Gregg says stump to stump picks up two runs get it over the side screen for six I say well, it's going you beauty under the dog track for six slot round at mid wicket area Beautiful shot from Dean Jones. Well, he really has got to hit through everything now, right to the end of the innings. As he moves into 90, he uh, got that on the up, was a fraction short, hit through mid wicket. That was where he had to go. There was a gap there. Hit as clean as a whistle. Beautifully struck. Hoik over mid wicket, of course. They got it on the rise, hit it beautifully. Mr. Bowler be trying to bowl one right up in the block hole. Rather over pitch than under pitch. Doesn't want Dean Jones to get under this one. He's hit that straight down the ground. It's going, no, it's not, it's right in the air. He's saying, leave it to me, I'll catch it. Yes, he will, he's got it. Jones out. This 
for a second there was going to be chaos there. There was potential for a three-way collision. But good thinking by Provoker. He told the wall to go away. And he ended up taking the catch himself. This Mike Provoker in Steam Jones' fine innings of 90 with a good catch. It wasn't easy. He went for it, got under it a bit, and there's Provoker going back. It was very, very high. And mid-on. And mid-off come in and Provoker at the end does the job. Jones out for magnificent 90. Superb innings. 108 balls faced. Horton Gold for Parker. Six for 230. It's Craig McDermott. He's gone for that one. This is in the air. This could be out. It is all oh, brilliantly caught. Absolutely magnificently caught by Mubov. The Nietzsche coming in there, and what a catch that is. RJ, J. Dijon coming in from mid-off. Now, you have a look at this. Yes, he didn't pick up the wall either. He was very deep. It was a high score. There he is. He walks and he comes. He's got his eyes on the ball. What a magnificent catch that is. That is one of the best outfield catches you will ever see. Young man playing his first one-day international border under it. A great running catch. That's what India need to do in his final deliveries. Good defensive cricket. Brought it out for 10. It's 7 for 235. Peter Taylor's out there, but he's not on strike. Good toss, and that's out. So another wicket falls with a score on 236. So Australia now 8 down. Jadeja again taking the catch. Much easier catch that one, but these are vital wickets for India. Australia like been 250 plus when Jones was on fire. They pick up Jones for 90 now. Border and McDermott depart. And India doing well in the final overs. It's so important. They'll be chasing about 240 odd. And then with a real chance here at the Gabba. McDermott out. 8 for 236. The Barker. The Hughes. Always oh, missed that one as well. Another slow ball. Hit the stumps too. So that's a run out. So Taylor out, run out, the end of the Australian innings, 9 for 237. Climax there at the end with uh, Merv Hughes unable to score in that final over, a very good one from Prabhaka. But I think the Australians will have settled for that, something around about the 240 run to make a target for India. At one stage it looked as though they might get to 250, 255. Not to be. 237 for nine in all, with Boone making 43. Jones, a brilliant 90. Lovely innings from him. Steve Waugh, 29. The middle of the order fired this time. Moody, 25 from 23 balls. Border coming in at number seven, made 10. Nine for 237. And Indian bowling, couple dev expensive towards the end. Prabhaka, I thought quite magnificent today. Three for 41 compared with couple devs' uh, figures of the same. And Srinath, one for 48 with Venkatapati Raju. Lovely turnovers of spin, one for 37. 238 the Indians need, very strong in batting. This will be a good contest. Ball in, the wicket made by McDermott, spot on, over goes the castle, a great breakthrough. Beautiful piece of bowling by Craig McDermott. This rip that uh, didn't look like it at all. And McDermott uh, bowled a beautiful over to him. Maintained a terrific line around off stump and then eventually hit off stump. And uh, Srikanth missed that by a mile. He was playing down leg stump and it hit off stump. So India losing their first wicket with just six on the board. The Indian captain, Mohammed Azaruddin, batting at number three. It's a great shot. It should go all the way. Beautifully played. A bit of whip there from Whitney. Perfect square cut. Suddenly where Whitney's uh, line had been so good, first ball of the over, he was on the leg stump to Azaruddin, and that's, uh, that's not a good idea because he's such a strong player on the onside. And then since then, he's given Ravi a bit of, uh, bit of width, and he's also been short outside off stump. And here is the unmistakable figure of Merv Hughes. Oh, glorious shot. That's a magnificent shot to greet Merv Hughes from Mohammed Azraddin. 
didn't waste any time. Mohamed Azruddin might have reckoned that was going to be a loosener. And he really gave it something. Very level comparison after 11 overs. Australia having lost their openers in that time. And they have just lost the one. A run out here. And all sorts of problems. The ball eluding Whitney. And uh, the clearest of run outs being missed by Australia. Out of border, can't believe it. I'm surprised. Can hardly believe it up here. Terrible running between the wickets. Nice pick up and throw by Marsh. Ball bouncing to Whitney. And he's trying to. Uh, and even then, extra fumbles. That's the current run rate, well below that, but this is a pattern of the one day game. killed his captain with the drive again didn't quite time it as the shot suggested and the ball won't get all the way Peter Taylor and Tom Moody the two fielders is really putting a lot of effort into his shots. There'll be several like that, but uh, really he hasn't got the timing going. And in fact, the rain now is setting in, encircling the Gabba. In fact, the umpires now have decided that they will come off. India at 1 for 45. This is over number 17. After 16.2 overs, rain stopped play. The number of overs available to India were reduced to 47, and the target score now is 236. And Tom Moody continuing. Well, that's straight up in the air. This will be out. Yes, he's got him. So Shastri going for the big one, trying to hit the ball over extra cover. Stephen War, very, very safe hands. Gets himself perfectly placed underneath that one. So a wicket for Tom Moody. And Ravi Shastri makes his way back to the pavilion. Shastri, I'm afraid to say, did look as though his, his concentration had wavered there. He was more worried about his feet. He's been trying to find his timing. Again, there is miscued this ball straight up in the air. A good catch from Steve Wall. Going backwards at extra cover. Safely caught. India 2 for 53. So the new batsman is out there now. Bench and Tendulkar. In the air, but it's also in the gap. Moody will not get after it, will not catch up to it. It's into the hoardings. Well, that made a pleasant change for India because they've been uh, thumping a lot of balls but hitting them straight to Fieldsman. Even uh, Fieldsman was in the deep, so they were just getting singles where they needed boundaries. Two for 70 after 23 overs. And that is four more. And that's a very good demonstration of why this young man is considered one of the most promising young batsmen in world cricket. Yes, he got the placement as well as the uh, the power on that occasion. Really thumped the ball. But you remember in the last over from Tom Moody that he whacked one straight to uh, Mark Taylor at backward square leg. It's in the air and he's gone. Steve Waugh, no trouble with those. Stephen Waugh, very safe pair of hands. Touch and Tendorka. Playing the slash, trying to hit it over cover. He got it just above head height for Steve Waugh. Two hands went up, no doubt. Tom Moody has got uh, a couple of breakthroughs. Tendulkar trying to hit inside out there and go over the top of cover. Only succeeded in going straight to Steve Waugh. And the third Indian wicket is now down with 86 on the board. It's 
seven runs and over required. Kapil Dev has come in as the pinch hitter. In the air. Merv, it's Mike Whitney. He's in that circle, so he couldn't get back. Deliberate shot, well played by Kapil Dev. Plenty of height on it, and it rolled away for four. So three, four, 99. The number of overs have been reduced, and that's four runs, and the comparison certainly with a few more blows like that will get a lot, will get a lot closer. Typical Kapil Dev shot. Beautifully struck, but again in the air. Over the top, and well struck, down the ground for four, just short of the boundary again. Azruddin timing the ball magnificently. And if he continues to bat like that, perhaps I will put a bit of money on India. Well, still, still taking the risks here, Azruddin. Steve War. Well, that's beautifully struck. That's a magnificent shot. Four more. Well, there are gaps in this field. Kapildev picking one of those out with that ball well pitched up on the leg stump on Kapildev's legs. There's a man at square leg, very square, just in front of square. There's a long leg up in the circle. And there's a big gap exactly where that ball went. He's given him leg before. Kapildev looking to pull through the onside. Umpire Aldridge pulls up the finger. Kapildev is not amused. But he has to go leg before. Steve Waugh strikes. And an important wicket for Australia. Vital blow struck by Steve Waugh there. Kapildev possibly wondering about the height. A short ball from Steve Waugh. Certainly straight enough. And in fact, it's only hit him just on the roll of the knee pad there. Probably means it was going to hit. Probably means that Brian Aldridge's decision absolutely correct. And India now 4 for 128. Sanjay Mandraka comes in for his first match in the competition. He's got that one away beautifully. One bounce and onto the dog track. Not quite. Hit the rail and came back down. Lovely timing. Way over the top of uh, the middle fieldsman's head. Now he'll stay back, mid on fieldsman, he'll stay back on the boundary, and so Merv Hughes will have to come into the circle. Lovely timing there. A few more of those, and uh, India will be in with a chance. Well, there's a start. Brilliant boundary by Mohammed Ashuddin. That is a magnificent shot. The ball was short and uh, Mohammed Azuddin onto the back foot. Smacked it straight over the top of extra cover's head. Magnificent timing. Merv Hughes is going to bowl from the Vulture Street end. It's uh, four wickets down. Hughes, when he bowled his earlier spell, had 25 taken from seven overs. That's a magnificent shot. It's into the gap. No, is it going to be just short of the fieldsman? Taylor tries to pick up, fumbles a little bit back for the second. Well, just for a second, it looked as if it was going to go into the stand. But he got right underneath it. It went very high. Taylor couldn't quite make it. Now, the question is, what field are they going to set? For Mendraker, the real gap is, I suppose, over the top of extra cover, or perhaps over the top of mid-wicket. That area is also uncovered. What a good shot that was. Premeditated move towards the offside, and then a magnificent flick towards mid-wicket. Right off the meat of the bat, closed the face, behind square it went for four. It's a beautiful stroke and uh, certainly well thought out by Mantraker. The man from Deep Fire Negus had to come up inside the circle. So there's plenty of area down there. There's a man at Deep Square. Ball comes in for his tenth and final over. It's just wide to border. He'll throw up the stumps. He's struggling. He's out. Yes, border does it. The magnificent 
toe. Mohamed Azaruddin on 93, struggling to make his ground and board it from side on, does it again. Well, what an important piece of fielding this could turn out to be. Balls were disappearing all right, they were disappearing all around the ground. And on this occasion, Mandraker has hit it to the right of Alan Border, a natural left-hander. He's had to move around the ball, pick it up from side on. And as he's so often done, steadies, fires, and bang. There it is, and on your way, Mohamed Azaruddin. Magnificent innings from him, 93 runs. Deserved a century, but India now just slipping back. New batsmen to come in. They're under a great deal of pressure. Jadeja, the new batsman, 5 for 194, 236 is the target. So it's going to be very, very close, and the odds go back to Australia. The end of a magnificent innings by the Indian captain. He took the challenge here today. Slow at the box there. Border had him covered. The throw was a direct hit. He's out by half a metre. A magnificent performance under pressure by Alan Border. Just too slow at the box, the Indian skipper. He balked and had a look as well. And Border... First in his right hand, spun around and a magnificent throw. A great run out under pressure. Using his ninth over. Got him over. So that's another wicket down. India now struggling in the final overs. A big effort here at the Gabba. A new player phone to get butt on ball. Well, Jardeja had to throw caution to the wind, but he had to keep the odds in his favour. I think he was looking to walk across to the offside and flick it over mid-wicket. The only flick it got was on his pad and straight through to the middle stump. Merv gives him the BDI and he's on his way. Six for 199 to the target. He's just becoming more and more elusive. Prabhakar is the, well, should be the new batsman, but he's not. Kieran Moray is coming in. And then Breaker on 35. Slow ball, he's got hold of that, it'll go all the way, that's a big one, that's six, just what's needed. Sanjay Mandraker picks up Mervyn, who's his leg break and hooks it over, wrong up, wrong on for six. So what the Indians needed to do, spread off on the slower balls, Merv Hughes bowls them, Steve War bowls them, there's the leg spinner. Good night, Mr Spaulding. Well, that's what's needed. There he goes, and then comes Hughes again. Full toss, he gets it for four! Beautiful cricket, Sanjay Mandraker gets the full toss, whips it away for four, six for 210. Whoa, what an over. 14 off the over, six for 210. 18 balls from 26, four wickets, and hence going to be Moody. He's got that, he beat Border, there'll be at least two. Jones is the sweeper to Kieran Moray. And then get to a ball and they'll get very, very close here at the Gabba. They need some boundaries here. And Draco managed to hit Merv Hughes back over his head for six. Another six would bring that equation back to pretty much even. Uh, India would be in pretty good position from there. Tom Moody. Oh, it's good. Top edge. In comes. McDermott, he won't get it. Oh, and he falls over at the bowls and Kieran Moray. Should have been running like a whippet there. Slipped over. Didn't go for the second run. The pressure showing here at the Gabba. Top edge went over the wicketkeeper's head. McDermott did the cleaning up. Actually, Kieran Moray may have done India a favour. He's got that down to third man. That's six off the over. Coming back for the second, he's got to be out, surely. Scott! Yes, good try by McDermott. They had to take it on. Sanjay Mandraker, run out by a great throw by Craig McDermott. David Boone had the fails up in a flash, and that could be the end for India. Almost a risk that didn't need to be taken. Six runs from the over. The last thing they needed was Mandraker to get run out. He's taken Craig McDermott on, and you probably wouldn't find a stronger arm in the Australian side. He's only 35, 40 metres from the bat by the time he's got it. No way in the world he can beat that throw. David Boone does the rest. Ian Robinson signals the out. And Mandraker has gone. India 7 for 216. And Srinat coming out to bat. So Prabhaka must be injured. Three men inside the circle on the offside. One on the arm. There's the ring of three. 
have to go over the top. They want to get fours in that region. Water keeping the pressure on the offside. There's one or two gaps on the onside. McDermott comes in. He struck that straight. They look for two, surely. Kieran Murray's coming down. Puts the bat down. Here they come. There's the throw from Peter Taylor. It's not all that strong. So two just now hitting the ball, not off the full face of the bat, into the ground, but picks up two. Now pulling away to the leg side, trying to make room for himself. Did just that, full length from Craig McDermott. If he can keep that length going, it'll be very hard for them to hit boundaries. They'll be exhausted if they get there. Welcome back to the Gabba. Six balls to be bowled by Tom Moody. Kieran Moray, the experienced wicketkeeper batsman on strike. They won at least a six and a couple of boundaries here to win this. They are really on the edge of their seats here at the Gabba. It's been a great match, a great fight back by India. Reduced match to 47 overs. That's four. Jones coming around, mate. Then he's going on the big one. Says he's going to die. No, four runs. Great effort by Dean Jones. So a great start by Kieran Moray. Great effort by Dean Jones. He looked like he may get there in the end with a despairing dive. He covered an enormous amount of ground. Tom Moody's the man under pressure. Nine runs required from five balls. Tom Moody's on a hiding to nothing. Yes, and Moray will be looking for where he can deflect or where he can smash it. He's got it away again. This will be four more. So this is more chance here for India. Moody buying the full pitch. Can they do it? Well, it's going to be very, very close to the real chance now. If Kieran Moray can keep his cool and put back to ball, they'll just about win this. Goodness me, Tom Moody doing the right thing, keeping the ball full. But it's very hard for anyone to bowl without a fine leg. Very, very difficult to bowl without a fine leg. There's a lot of pressure on uh, on Tom Moody. Alan Border will have aged about three or four years in the last couple of balls. A runner ball will tie this for India. Bowling was trying to flick it around the corner. That was probably a silly shot there because he was just desperate to put that on ball. So Moody keeps it straight. Murray out. What a sensational finish here at the Gabba. Tom Moody has done the right thing with all three balls. He's kept it full and pretty well in line with the stumps. He's done it again here, and Kieran Moray has taken a huge risk. Mind you, had he laid back on that, that would have been four more. And stump vision has just disappeared from the Vulture Street end. The middle stump has just been shattered, and pretty well, so have India's chances. Well, what a finish. Eight for 231. Moray out for the fighting eight run last over and it's Manoj Prabhaka, the Indian street fighter comes out to take guard here. He's a real tough customer. We see Moody there pitching. He was a little bit unlucky, he didn't get some battle pat onto that. Would have gone fine for a couple. But what a tense finish. Here's Stump Vision getting knocked out. Good night Stump Vision, maybe good night India. So there it is. Five runs required, three balls remaining. One good hit will win the game, but Manoj Prabhaka has demonstrated through the World Series matches that he's not the best logger in the game. Quite a useful batsman. He really has to try and play normal cricket. Alan Border getting a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, so everybody's nervous here, because if they get knocked off here, they're three without a point. In comes Tom Moody. Manoj Prabhaka gets bat on board. They'll run one here. Moody will show it. The over throws. Yes. No. Just get the one. Wow, it's all happening. Moody fired. The ball went through the border, backing up the incoming war from deep on and stopped the overthrow. That could have been one with an overthrow. They're great effort by War. Here's the throw. He's missed. And War backed up. Really, only had to throw the ball to Peter Taylor there would have been good enough. For Barker, he didn't want any of the pressure. He decided he was off strike. So two balls left, four runs required. Everybody's on the edge of their seat. Three to tie, a boundary will win it. It's got that away, they'll have to run. Oh dear, oh dear, Smart's not even running. So they'll run out, so that's virtually it. Crowd unfortunately running on the ground, there's still a ball to be bowled here. 
So the Barker run out. Jeff Garson up, losing the puck there. Well, there was probably no chance of a run, but uh, in this situation, anything can happen. Even Alan Border can make a mistake. On this occasion, he realised there's no pressure. Tom Moody's back at the stumps. How would you like to be in Tom Moody's shoes? One ball to go, four runs required. Prabhakar on the way back to the pavilion. Srinath is the man in the hot seat for India. You've almost got to take a prediction if you're the batsman in this situation. You need a boundary. You've got to get bat on the ball. And a half-decent hit can win the game for India. Yes, they really should have tied it in this final over at least. They only needed to uh, bat intelligently after those two fours. Unfortunately, Moray was bowled trying to whip it fine for the winning run with plenty of balls left. He probably could have done it. He was the man, Kevin Moray. What do you think Raju might have said to him as he went past Bill? Good luck, pal. Well, one ball to go. Jabagal Smith hasn't had a good day, but he can become a national hero with one hit here. They're all spread out, four inside the circle. Here's Tom Moody. He's got it at six, could it be? He's coming around Mark Taylor, it was a steep wall. He stopped it. He's got to go back for the third, come on run. They're running. Oh, it's done. they win by one run, Australia, what a finish. He dropped the catch, but the throw was good enough, and the runner was not fast enough, so India miss out by one run to tie. What about that for a nerve-tingling finish? Absolute excitement here at the Gabba, and the Australians just got up with that last ball victory. This is the card of the Indian innings. They needed 236 on their adjusted total. They finished with 234, with Ravi Shastri 25, and Mohammad Azruddin a brilliant innings, a brilliant captain's rock of 93 from 102, and Manjreka 47 from 42. Kapil Dev came in and hit 21 from the same number of balls, and uh, that partnership was the one that got India on track. 234 they finished with, and the bowling for Australia, well, there were times when it was under pressure, but they hung in there. McDermott, nine overs, one maiden, one for 35. Whitney, none for 36. Hughes, one for 49. Moody, three for 56, had the responsibility of bowling the last over. And Steve Waugh, the man who missed the catch and then affected the run out with Boone, one for 50 from 10 overs. And the man of the match was Dean Jones. So matches coming up, the first one we'll be televising is the game at the SCG and that is between uh, Pakistan and India on Wednesday. It's a day-night match and this is the way the points table looks at the moment. Bear in mind that uh, the game in Adelaide today was washed out. They had a lot of rain down there and it finished with Pakistan making 74 and England one for 17 from six overs. Each of those two teams taking a point. And up the top of the points table, New Zealand and England are doing well, and Australia on the mark for the first time. So from uh, a very, very excited crowd and uh, very excited players too, I can tell you, we say from the Gabba on this Sunday evening, good night. <laughs>